friends, welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. Today we are going to go through a week of expenses with Cinnabon, so what I spend in a week on my rabbit. Now these videos were popular about a year ago really, but since we're new to the YouTube space, I kind of wanted to give it a shot anyway. I think there are so many conversations out there about how much it actually costs to own a pet, and while I don't think that this week is really indicative of the overall price, I think it can kind of give you a look into like what it actually costs versus like the planned cost that you have because as you are going to see from this video there were quite a few bonus costs that i didn't really see coming this week and most of them are my own fault because I have a shopping problem, but hey, I thought it'd be fun to show. Before we get started, owning a bunny is a big financial responsibility. Owning any pet is a big financial responsibility. Lynn and the Bunny actually made a really great video about the overall cost of owning a bunny, and I'm gonna link that video below, but I thought this could be just a fun look into a week in our life, what we're doing, what I'm spending my money on for Cinnabon, and kind of what all of those things add up to. Let's get started with Sunday. Sunday is when I do my big grocery run, and Sunday is usually when I pick up the herbs and veggies for Cinnabon. So on Sunday, I picked up dill for Cinnabon, I picked up basil, and I picked up romaine lettuce. All three of those greens combined added up to about $5.50. And that's going to last for her salads. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's gonna last for her salads for the rest of the week. Now, Monday is where we started to get a little bit on the pricier side. As I was making Cinnabon's salad, I always add a digestive biscuit in. If you've watched any of our videos about dieting, you know I always give Cinnabon an Oxbow digestive biscuit with her salad. But because we use them every day, I noticed my jar was running empty. So I went ahead and placed an order on Amazon for two bags of those biscuits. That order was $22.23. But again, this is gonna last us for like two months. Month. So it's one of those like bigger expenses, but we don't do that weekly. Also on Monday, here comes unnecessary cost number one. It was a trip to the vet to get her nails trimmed, which was $26 for a nail trim, which I could easily do at home. I know. It's like you don't really think about it until you're going through your expenses and you're like, oh, that $26 that I could have used on literally anything else um, was a 10 minute nail trim for Cinnabon. But I have reasonings. So Cinnabon is still a young rabbit. She's still getting used to a lot of things, like getting her nails trimmed. She's very squirmy when I go to trim her nails. So right now, while she's under a year old, I have my vet do it. I recognize it's a $26 expense, but I really only do this about once every two months. And once she gets more comfortable with the process, I'm gonna do it myself. So right now, this is kind of an unnecessary expense, but I find it to be necessary for the greater good longer down the line. Her nails were long and they needed it, so put that in the professional's hands. So let's talk about um, what happened Tuesday. So here's what happened. Remember how I said that I love to shop and can sometimes be a little irresponsible with it? This is one of those days. We love Wags and Whiskers Co. on Instagram. I think that they have some of the most gorgeous and creative treats. And they dropped a bundle called the Bunny Brunch Bundle. It's basically this bundle of these really gourmet looking bunny treats and they all look like human food and it comes in this like picnic basket. It's legitimately the most aesthetic thing I've ever seen. Cinnabon really does not need more treats. We have our staples. We have so many. She is spoiled enough, but like they were so cute. So I bought those and they were coming from Canada. So they were even more expensive because of the shipping. So those were $36 and 37 cents. Um, so unnecessary. However, I think that they are gorgeous. And if you're looking for like a really gorgeous treat bundle, especially if you live in Canada and don't need to pay international shipping, these treats are amazing. And I think that they are going to be so cute. Cinnabon's gonna love them. And I really love supporting smaller businesses. So Wags and Whiskers Co, we love you. We definitely think these treats were worth the splurge. And I hope that y'all like the pictures that we're definitely gonna take with them. So did I buy treats for Instagram photos? I did. Do I regret it? No. No, I don't, not one bit. So now let's move on to Wednesday. Have you ever been getting ready in the morning and you're like, oh, I'm out of foundation. Oh my gosh, I'm also out of mascara. Oh my gosh, I'm also out of lip gloss. I'm also out of this. It's like when one thing is out, everything is out, and then you buy everything at one time, which means they're all gonna run out at the same time again. That's what happened this week. 
This week we were out of our bedding for her litter box. We were out of her puppy pads for her litter box and our hay was running low. I needed to buy all of those things and it was all coming down to, I needed to buy them on this day or else she wasn't gonna have a litter box. PetSmart does a thing where they do same day shipping through DoorDash so I don't even have to go to the store. So I placed my hay order, which honestly I buy hay once a week anyway, so this is pretty normal. I placed our litter order, which I buy about once every two months. And then I placed our puppy pad order, which again, once every two months. The puppy pads and the litter are not a usual expense, but the hay was. All of those together were $39.33. And that was pretty much for all of her litter box items. Moving on to Thursday, we actually filmed a DIY forage video, which if you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it below. And I used a ton of our ingredients that we make our forage blends with. I realized that I was really running low on those, so I made a new order with the well-kept rabbit. It's another one of those like kind of added treats, but we were totally out especially after making that video so that was $15.88 for those and again this is an expense where we love the well-kept rabbit we love supporting small businesses so I'd rather shop from them than get them elsewhere and thank goodness both Friday and Saturday I spent zero dollars on little miss Cinnabon it is about time so that is our total for the week one more thing I want to add in to this grand total is her pellets I did not have to buy pellets this week but I do feed them every single day so a bag of pellets will last me about three three months and they're only about $11 for a bag. So for one week, it's a grand total of about 86 cents for her pellets. So big spender over here on that part of her diet. So if you add up all of the days of the week and those pellets, the grand total is, drum roll please, $146.17. That is pretty bonkers, to be honest. If I did this every single week, I would be spending so much money just on Cinnabon. Do not think that this is an accurate representation of what every bunny owner is doing weekly. Again, I bought quite a few unnecessary treat items for her, and then I also had to replenish some of our supplies that we don't always have to buy every week. So if you subtract the treats, going to the vet to get her nails done, and the well-kept rabbit foraging stuff, our grand total will be $67.00. 92 cents, which is not bad if you're considering that I am paying for things this week that I replenish once every two months or so. And if you want to break it down even more technically, just to be the things that every week she is eating and those are things I have to do is her pellets, her veggies, and her hay. And together that is only about $16.36. So you can see the really big variety here. So I hope that this video was useful to see that while there really is not a huge weekly cost for owning your bunny, there are all sorts of other expenses that can add up. And if you're like me and like to spoil your bunny, that can add up even more. Please try not to roast me in the comments below. Instead, go ahead and post what you think the most ridiculous thing is that you've bought for your bunny. I would love to know that I'm not alone here. So that is all from us. We will see you next Sunday. Bye, buns.